Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you wanted to join me today because today we are going to go through another thrift haul. It's been a while since my last thrift haul. Actually, it's been three months and the last thrift haul I put up was sort of a summer vibe, sunshine, beach party thrift haul. There was no beach party, um, I wish. But today it is officially 29th of October, so some things have changed and the weather in Denmark is already super super cold like around 5 to 9 degrees Celsius, so I'm freezing. I'm always cold and I have been thrifting a couple of things fashion wise that I want to talk about and I have been thrifting a couple of things decor home interior wise that I want to talk about as well and then I have two things that aren't actually new or thrifted that I really want to talk about because they are like wardrobe improvements so we're going to go over quite a lot of stuff today and um, I suggest that we get started <laughs> First of all, I already do indeed have quite a lot of jumpers. I have so many because I love them and I wear them every single day from September basically to April. <laughs> a lot of my year is occupied by jumpers, um, so I don't necessarily feel too bad about owning quite a lot of them. They are all thrifted and vintage as well. And I always look for sort of new styles and how to elevate my jumper game instead of wearing the same oversized one with leggings every single day because that is usually what I end up doing if I allow myself to. So two weeks ago, I found this little bad boy, this bad number in a thrift shop. It is sort of a cropped jumper, which is something that I seriously lack because all my jumpers go around my hips or below that. And that is my widest point. And that is not always super flattering for me. And sometimes I feel a little bit insecure about it and stuff. So it's nice to have something that is more cropped so I can wear high-waisted jeans and stuff or high-waisted skirts and still feel warm and stylish. Yeehaw. The most logical course of action is going through all the jumpers that I got because <laughs> there's more. <laughs> the next one is super dirty so if it comes up on camera I am sorry I dragged it out of my laundry to show you because I've been wearing it so much. Oh yeah you can definitely see <laughs> But it is simply this long white knitted shirt. This is super super warm and that is why I've been wearing it a ton. And I think it is so warm because it is made out of 90% merino wool. So that is a great segue into something I casually wanted to talk about in this because I've been getting a lot of questions about it. And that is how do you feel about wool, leather, animal based materials in fashion. And my stance on it is basically just this. And I think I've mentioned it like sporadically here and there in my videos as well. But I'm a firm believer in using what we already have. Basically, that's basically it. Buying vintage or secondhand leather, wool or any other animal-based product is completely up to you. And if you feel comfortable with it, I have my own personal line and my own personal limit, which is something like crocodile skin and something that is very visibly an animal but because leather and faux leather they look so much alike I don't necessarily feel like you are promoting that idea in the same way as you know wearing fur or wearing crocodile skin and stuff like that and I'm just personally not okay with it even though it comes with the same low impact as any other vintage or reused pre-loved material but that is my own personal preference I don't mind wearing wool I know some people get really icky about it and I completely understand that as well I just I just don't because I like using what we already have and that is also part of the zero waste perspective for me is using what we already have rather than just buying new and throwing out your old leather boots to buy new vegan boots is super super wasteful so just wear your old boots that is my perspective on that okay cool and I like my new jumper I think it's gorgeous and amazing and um dirty <laughs> I'm so excited for the next thing you guys because it's a set it is <laughs> this it's another white thing and I haven't previously owned a lot of white or really light things because I've usually been like a black clothing kind of gal but I'm really opening up to sort of lighter colors and how you can style them and I think it's amazing but this set is a long knitted skirt this is also a wool cut and blend by the way the top is this asymmetrical asymmetrical jumper it's so flipping cool and I was in a thrift shop with one of my friends and he has a great sense of fashion and he told me 
you should get that. And I tried it on sort of for fun, but then I started really warming up to it. And now it's low-key one of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe and I cannot wait to wear it. I feel like a trophy wife sipping wine in Aspen or something. It's just beyond. I feel like in my thrift hauls, there's always that one thing that I cannot remember if I showed you the last time I made a thrift haul. <sighs> this is that item. Could I just have looked it up? Mm, yeah, maybe. Mm, we didn't do that. Okay. It is this skirt. It's actually from a Danish designer, which I find to be pretty funny. I also paid a little bit more for it than I would have in a normal thrift shop. I got this through Trend Sales, which is this Danish, and I think Swedish and Norwegian, question mark, uh, secondhand app where you sort of sell your things to other people, like Depop. Um, and I really, really, really love this material. I think that is what sort of sold me on this. And it's gonna be great for winter, because it's gonna be great for layering. And, um, yeah, I found that this style of skirt fits me the absolute best and is the most flattering for me. So I'm trying to find different kinds of skirts that fit this style so I can, you know, wear what is the most flattering to me often. <laughs> so I, of course, found another one. Uh, not that long ago either. I'm just gonna close it up because I don't want to show you the brand because it is fast fashion and I don't want to give them just any sort of advertisement because ew. it is from a charity shop and it looks like this it's sort of the same style where the skirt i don't know it probably has a really fancy name but where the skirt doesn't float out a whole lot but it's not a pencil skirt it's somewhere in between and i really 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 like that that cut and i love this color as well um i'm really trying as you can perhaps see to not wear as much black as i used to and i'm really opening up to trying to expand my style a little bit this is not a thing that I picked up for myself. This is a thing that Jens's mom found in their house and thought, Gidi's gonna love that. She's gonna love that. And you know what? I do. These are proper vintage sunglasses and I'm pretty sure they've been used for sort of costumes in Jens's childhood, but like, really? They're amazing. I love this. The last fashion item that I thrifted was also from Trend Sales, this online secondhand app. And it is these boots because I like me a pointy boot and these are the pointiest. I love that. And I've been trying uh, different kinds of boots that are pointy and some of them haven't worked out for me. So I've resold them. Um, so it's sort of like third generation <laughs> secondhand boots. But I love these and I can walk for ages in them as well. So that is perfect. It's so nice to be able to find a boot that looks the way I want it to look and that is comfortable to wear because either something is comfortable but then looks all like awful or it looks amazing but it's uncomfortable to wear. That is that, that that is how I've been rolling for the longest time. So it's nice to have something that isn't a compromise. And now we're moving into two fashion items that um, are not new or newly thrifted, but something I had a long time and then rediscovered. First of all, these are another pair of leather boots that I have had for over a year. I got them last summer in Copenhagen in a vintage shop. And I wore it so much that I completely destroyed the entire sole. Like whenever it was raining, my socks would instantly get wet because there was just a hole directly and I and I ended up tearing this completely down it was like no so I went to my shoe repair guy and I paid I think 30 quid mm -hmm. around 30 quid to get them completely fixed up so he fixed the leather surface um, and treated that really nicely and coated it with something so it holds up a little bit better then he put up a new little heel and he put on a new sole so they are like brand new shoes and they are worth much more than 30 quid or what I paid for them originally in the vintage shop and this thing about, you know, repairing rather than just tossing and then buying something new is all that I believe in. Leather goods are really easy to repair in contrast to many other kinds of materials. So it's something that you can have for a really, really long time if you maintain it and if you take care of it. And that's something that I deeply appreciate. So I'm so happy. It feels like I have a completely new set of boots because they feel new, you know? Okay. And... The last thing I've rediscovered, I haven't done anything to this or repaired it or maintained it in any way, but I just rediscovered it and I want to talk about it in, you know, my video. It is this coat and it's made from suede. So again, you know, also animal based and 
Again, you're really free to tell me what your preferences are down below. Just remember that it's okay to, to, as a vegan, wear leather products as long as you don't support the industry. And if you have different feelings about it, that's also fine. But just let people be people and let people do their best. Just, you know, like there's room for everyone. And the main goal is to minimize this industry's place in the world and have different ways of doing so. Okay, yeah. Lots of love and good vibes. But this coat was a gift my grandmother got in the 50s from a rich boyfriend. And she told me his name. His grandson is kind of a big deal now, but I don't remember what his name was. But they were in Malmö in Sweden and she saw this in the window and she completely loved it. And he went in and got it for her. So she's really been treasuring this. And then my mom got it as sort of like a, you're a young lady now, now you can have the coat. And she's been clubbing in it. So when I got it from her, there were still receipts from drinks in the pockets. And there's also, a, there's also lipstick on it, which is also from my mom's clubbing days. And <laughs> I love this coat so much. And I wore it a couple of times in high school, but I didn't really appreciate it. And also didn't know how to style it. Different story now, you guys. I love this coat and I just wore it for three days straight when I was in Copenhagen for business and I love it so much. <laughs> okay, so now we've moved away from the fashion things and we're moving sort of into the home decor-esque things. The first thing that I got, I got while Jens and I were in his parents' cottage and I've been looking at this in the store. It's like this, again, vintage thrift flea market -y store. I've been looking at it since June and I haven't bought it any of the times I've seen it. So uh, our second day there, we ended up driving back so I finally could get it. Look at it! It is this picture and I don't know what is up with it. It's so ugly that it becomes absolutely gorgeous and it looks like rope and it's brown and it's 70s looking this is one of my favorite things now like no kidding <laughs> when we were in that store retrieving this picture for the 100,000th time and I ended up buying it finally I also found banana grams it is a Norwegian game I think I don't know necessarily maybe I'm totally wrong but it's sort of like Scrabble without the board and I posted this on Instagram and a lot of you guys went completely nuts for it just what you found I did for two quid I don't know what there is some sort of thrift karma that is really smiling down upon me I love it um, but I love this game so much and it's sort of like a vacation game that Jens and I love to play and uh, I've been looking for our own version forever and finally I found it and coincidentally as well and for two quid I'm just I'm done if you want to see more about that thrift trip I actually have my previous video where you can go and check it out um, so we also got something else that I am super super excited about and something I've been looking about for years at this point and it is big it's a reuse <laughs> okay it's a reusable Christmas tree ah I got this for four quid can you actually believe from a thrift shop I I've been looking for one of these for ages and in my family we had different kinds of solutions to the Christmas tree thing but usually we've ended up having an actual tree in various sizes you know like not on the same day but like some years we've had like a tree on this size and then other times we have like a bigger one but I've always really wanted to get a reusable one because everyone in my family have said that if we get a reusable Christmas tree we'll just use that ah! I am super super excited about this and uh Really looking forward to Christmas as well, like low-key looking forward to, high-key I guess, looking forward to Christmas. Oh, it's going to be so exciting. And I also really want to do some more Christmas vlogs. I did some last year, but I want to do them again and show you how we're going to have a zero waste Christmas as well. So I am really, really excited and... Uh... Okay. <laughs> and lastly, I don't know what that voice was. I've been buying wicker. I've been looking so much for dividers for my drawers and one of the things that I found is super easy to find in Danish thrift shops at least I don't know why I can't say thrift shops anymore is like wicker dividers and small wicker bowls and all kinds of stuff so I got some of it <laughs> and these were all super cheap I think I paid like half a quid for each of them and they are just super super neat dividers for your drawers or you know just as decorative items and 
yeah, I love this two bits and I use the big one here for my makeup and I'm in love with how it looks now. It's super, super cool and just yay. So that was my thrift haul and everything I got for winter. I feel like all of these are pretty essential winter items. <laughs> But I, uh, I'm really, really happy with this. I didn't get this, you know, like in one go. Obviously, I also think that has been clear from how I've been talking about it. But this is something that I gathered, collected over the course of three months. So that is what it ends up looking like. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and take really good care of yourselves. Until next time. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this video and also a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys help me create green zero waste contents and I love you guys. You can find the links to my social media accounts down below and the link to my Patreon on this screen. Bye!